Hi everyone, welcome to Personal Finance Circle. In this video, I'll be showing you the review of the CarryWise platform. I'll be showing you how you can save and invest your money on CarryWise and how you can also get better with your finances with CarryWise. Now, in case you don't know, you're hearing about CarryWise for the first time, it is a fintech platform that allows you to save and invest your money. You can create an emergency fund on CarryWise and you can also invest in Naira and Dollar Mutual funds on CarryWise. You can also make passive income for yourself all on CarryWise. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss any important part of this video. Now before I continue, if you are new to our YouTube channel, welcome to Personal Finance Circle where we teach you how to make, multiply and manage your money the right way. So if you love content like this, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos. Thank you. Now the first thing you need to do is to create a CarryWise account. So if you don't have a CarryWise account, you can use the first link in the description of this video to create an account on CarryWise. So to create an account, you go to CarryWise.com or you download the app on App Store or Play Store. And you come to the top right corner right here where you have sign up for free and you tap on it. Then you come right here and enter your email address that you want to use to create your CarryWise account. And you tap on create free account right here. Or let's for example, you have an account already. You just come here to where you have sign in and sign in to your CarryWise account. So once you enter your email address and your password right here, you tap on sign in right here. So as you can see on the screen, this is the home page of the CarryWise platform. So these are the home page will be when you open your account or when you log into your CarryWise app. Now at the top right here, you can see this part that is blurry. That's where you have your total balance. That is the total amount of money you have saved or invested on CarryWise. And where you have add money, this is where you can tap to add money to your savings or your investment on CarryWise. And where you have portfolio growth right here, you can see your portfolio is up by 3.92% today. This means that my portfolio has gone up by 3.92% just today. And that's just for today. So it shows you the rate at which your portfolio is going up every day. And if you come right here, this is where you can see the different things you can do on CarryWise. You can create a money draw, which means that you can start a money challenge with someone special. Now, what this means is that you can create a money draw with your partner or your friend or your family member and save together or challenge yourselves to save money together. That's the first one. The second one is you can create your savings plan or tap here to check out the different savings plans that you have created. And then the third one is you can check out your investment plans right here or create new investment plans for yourself. And right here, you can refer your friends to CarryWise to get fee waivers. I'll be talking more about the referral system later in this video. Now, if you come to the left side of the screen where you have the menu, you have save, you have invest, you have explore, you have stash, you have referral, you have payment. I'll be talking about all of this in this video. Now let's start with the savings plan. So if you, let's say for example, you want to save money. You come to where you have save right here and tap on save. Now right here to show you that you can create a new plan. So if you want to create a new savings plan, you tap on create new plan right here. But underneath here, you see the different plans that you have created. So you can see that I have a regular plan. I have circles plan. I have emergency plan. So let's say for example, you want to create a new plan. So you tap on create new plan right here. Now there are different kinds of plans that you can create on CarryWise. You have the regular savings, you have life goals, and if you scroll down, you have savings circle. Now let me explain what these three different plans mean. Now for regular savings, you can save money on your terms for a minimum of three months. We will reward your discipline with juicy returns. Now for regular savings, what this means is that you're going to save money for a minimum of three months. That is for at least three months and then you get interest on your money. So which means that you can withdraw your money until after a minimum of three months. That is for regular savings. For life goals, this is a long-term savings for life's important goals, minimum period of one year with amazing returns. Now for life goals, this means that you can save for maybe some important goals you want to save for and the minimum period is one year. So compared to regular savings, which is three months, for life goals, you have a minimum period of one year. So let's, for example, you have money that you want to save for a long period of time, that is at least one year, then you can choose the life goals plan. Now for savings circle, you can see set target and save together with others to meet them. 
gsa returns await you now what this means is that you can create a saving circle and add your friends maybe you guys are like 20 friends or maybe your classmates or you maybe your family members you add them all together to that saving circle and you guys you challenge yourselves to save money so let's say for example you want to create the regular savings plan which is for a minimum of three months you tap on the regular savings right here and you'll be asked some questions now the first one is do you want to automate your savings so you pick yes or no now what this means is that if you automate your savings you don't need to go to your app or your carrier website to transfer money to your savings or investment you can do it in such a way that every month or maybe every week or every day your money will be deducted from your bank account to your carrier account automatically without you worrying over your whether you want to save or not so it will be removing the money from your bank account automatically and i prefer to always automate my savings and i would advise that you also do that for yourself so you come here and tap on yes i want it to be debited automatically and then you tap on continue and then next thing is how frequently would you like to save so do you want to save once a day once a week or once a month so let's say for example we want to save once a week so you tap on once a week and then tap on continue and then next thing is how much would you like to save weekly so depending on maybe how much you can afford to save or how much you make or maybe um your savings go you can enter the amount you want to save right here and note the minimum is 1000 naira so let's for example we want to save like let's say 10,000 naira every week you enter 10,000 naira and then you tap on continue now the next thing is how long would you like to save so let's say you want to save for three months six months one year or you choose your preferred maturity date so let's say for example we want to save for like let's say two years for example so you come here and select the date so two years will be like that's 2024 um let's say um that's september 2024 if i'm correct so you can pick maybe uh let's say first of september 2024 so to show you the details of your savings right here so as you can see right here saving 10,000 hour weekly at 10 percent interest per annum will result in approximately about 1 million one hundred and forty six thousand seven hundred and eighty three naira 12 kobo on september 1 2024 then once you've seen that you tap on continue right here and then you can see you can review your savings plan so this is your regular savings plan this is the amount you'll be saving so that's ten thousand naira you'll be saving weekly your start date you're starting on september 3 2022 and your maturity date is september 1 2024 so you can see it will be locked so that means you won't be able to withdraw from this until your maturity date and that is why i've picked this long period of time so i'll show you that if you say you maybe want to save for like three years four years just know that you won't be able to withdraw your money until after your maturity date please note that and also let's say for example you have a bank account that you want the money to be removed from you add the bank account right here so i already had my own bank details right here you can see the access bank so i've added this so they will be removing 10,000 naira every week automatically from my access bank to my career wise account or to this savings plan that i have created then scroll down and tap on create plan at the bottom side of the screen so your plan was created successfully so let's go back so this is the savings plan right here so they've given the savings plan um garlic as name so you can just tap on it to rename the savings plan so to rename it you come to this side at the top here where you have these three dots and tap on those three dots and tap on edit plan and you see the plan name so the plan name here so you can just change the name so let's say maybe you can name it what maybe what you are saving for so let's say for example um let's say yes you are saving for a new car for example you can name it new car so once you put new car there then you can just save it so that's how you can create a savings plan on carry so just like that you've created your savings plan and then you can be saving money automatically every week every day or every month now let's say for example you don't want to create a regular savings plan let's say you want to create a live ghost plan which is for a minimum of one year you come here again and tap on create new plan and i tap on live goals right here and as we've seen the different goals you can save for it so you can pick home vacation family education business or retirement so you pick whichever one you want to save for and then the other steps is just like how you created your regular savings plan so you pick how much you want to save how long you want to save for you want to automate it or not and all of that so that's how you can create your regular savings plan and your life goals plan now let's move to how you can invest on carrier to invest on carrier wise you come to the left side here and tap on invest right here you tap on the invest menu right here this is where you can create a new investment so you tap on creating new investment right here 
and you see that you can invest in naira mutual funds and dollar mutual funds so let's for example you want to invest in naira you pick naira mutual funds if you want to invest in dollars you pick dollar mutual funds so i'll be using the dollar mutual funds as an example because most people right now want to save and invest in dollars so let's tap on invest now and this is this is the dollar mutual funds the mutual funds below requires a balanced risk appetite to invest in them and then these are the two mutual funds that you have available right here so you have this nigerian euro bond fund and the arm euro bond fund so you can invest in them and also withdraw your money anytime now as you can see here you see you have something called ytd returns which is 3.82 percent now what is 3.82 percent means is how much this investment has gone up from the first day of this year which is first of january 2022 till this day so if you invested in this on the first of january you have made only 3.82 percent and the risk level is moderate this is actually very low but if you are looking for a very low risk investment you can actually do this because it, does, it doesn't actually carry any risk but if you want to go back and invest in naira mutual funds i think that's where you see um the ones with high interest so if you come here, you can see you have different um, investments with 7%, 11%, 9% that are higher than the dollar mutual fund. So whichever we want to invest in is your choice, but this is how you can invest on the CareWise platform. And for the investment, you can sell your investment anytime. That's the thing about CareWise. You can sell your investment anytime and withdraw your money. So let's say you invested and then you are okay or you want to withdraw anytime. You can do that now the next one is where you have stash now where you have stash right here this stash is just like your bank account on carrywise now how do you use the stash now there are different ways you can use stash now let's say for example one of your savings plans has matured and then you don't want to withdraw your money to your bank account yet so that you don't spend it you can just transfer it here to your stash and let it be in your stash right here so your stash is just like your bank account but on carry wise that is how it works and maybe later you now to transfer the money to your bank account then you cannot transfer it to your bank account so you can see here you can add money to your stash maybe through bank transfer or ussd and you can also transfer um money from your stash to your savings plan your naira investment your dollar or even send it to a friend on carry wise you can see it right here for free you're not paying charges or you send it to your bank account so this is how you can use the stash on carry wise and then the next one is the referral system on carry wise so now this is how the referral system on carry wise works now so you get free waivers when you refer your friends to carry wise now what does this mean it means that you enjoy zero fees on investments and emergency plans when your friends sign up save or invest up to five thousand era with your referral code so let's for example you refer your friends to carry wise and then they sign up and save or invest at least 5,000 Naira, you are going to be getting zero fees on investment and emergency plans. You and your friend that you refer. So you won't have to pay fees on investment and your emergency plans. That is it. So in case you don't know, you'll be paying fees for investment and emergency plans, not your savings plan, only for investment and emergency plan. But if you refer people, you will not be paying fees for investment and emergency plan now the last one is where you have payment right here if you tap on payment this is where you can add your bank details your card maybe you want to be using your card to add money that if you want to automate your savings um, plans you have to add a card so that you'll be automatically removing money from that card to your carrywise account and you have to add your bank details so that you want to withdraw money so these are the different bank details i've added on carrywise so you have to add um, your bank details if you want to withdraw your money from CareWise to your bank account. So this is how you can save and invest on CareWise. So if you are in CareWise for the first time, I'm very sure you now know everything about CareWise and how to use it. If you want to learn about other apps like PiggyVest, we also have a video on that. You can check the link in the description below. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.